Hi everyone, my name is Debbie. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I am a reseller. I started reselling back in 2004, 17 years ago, and I absolutely love it. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Amazon, and a little bit on Macari. And today I have a small Goodwill haul. I went to Edmond, Oklahoma, which is north of Oklahoma City. My husband needed to get a golf club fixed, so we had to wait for it to be repaired. So I said, how about if we go to Goodwill and you go shopping with me again? And he agreed. <laughs> and I was so happy because I know he doesn't just love to go. So it was very nice of him to go with me. And when we went to Edmond, I thought of a few I thought of Melissa. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> I was like, wouldn't that be neat if I saw you when I was there? I love going to different Goodwills just to see the differences in items and prices and even the people that are shopping there. So I took a little bit of video from when I went and it was a quick trip. It only took 42 minutes to shop. And then after I got home, I listed everything and I timed every bit of the process to show you. And maybe you're not wanting to do a huge haul, but what can you do in just a short amount of time? And this took me start to finish and I figured in the time that it will take me to ship also two hours and 40 minutes. So what can you accomplish? How much money can you expect to make from two hours and 40 minutes of reselling? So let's go back to the Goodwill and shopping in Edmond, Oklahoma. <music> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes stuff out.
Okay, so one observation that we made when we were at that Goodwill, we were leaving and my husband was like, these are not needy people at this Goodwill. He said, look at the cars in the parking lot. There was a Range Rover, two nice Mercedes, an Audi, like nice, nice cars. <laughs> and so there, there were a lot of people that were shopping that you could tell were pretty affluent. And I thought that's really great. And I have heard some people criticized as resellers for taking from people that are more needy, but it's actually just the opposite of that. Goodwill provides jobs and training and helping people and that people are shopping there rather than going to retail establishments and purchasing brand new items. It helps out the world in more ways than one. It gives people jobs. It prevents waste. So I think that is wonderful and I liked seeing that. So we will start. First thing, when I walked in the door, I saw these Tory Birch sandals. Super nice. They looked in really nice condition. I used Google Lens, looked them up. They were called the Maybell Block Hill. They have a padded footbed, the logo. I found the size right inside and I wore them a couple times because they were my size and I kind of wanted to keep them but I was like now I'm just going to list them for $70 and I'll wear them until they sell and they sold right away like that love Tory Burch so they sold for $60 just today and so I've already <laughs> almost made up for the amount that I spent so I was so happy about that and when I get the shoes in, I only have one pair of shoes this time. I just usually quickly clean them. They don't take much work at all. So this is super easy prep. <laughs> I only have one pair of shoes. The clothes are all really nice and clean. Just took off the tag. There was not much residue. I like using this saddle soap for cleaning leather items and I just wipe it down to make sure that it's clean and then I take a little bit of this bear grease and take a soft towel and just barely put a little bit on the leather to shine it up it just gives it a really nice pretty look I'm not going to put it on the footbed though then I'll wait a little bit and then buff it off. And then I will just wipe down the bottom of the shoe. If there is anything in the grooves, I'll usually take a toothpick and get any dirt out. Sometimes I'll use a toothbrush if I'm having a little bit of trouble. Or sometimes I'll fill up a little bucket of water where it's extremely shallow and just have it sit in the shallow soapy water for a few minutes to loosen up any dirt. But you can do a lot of good in just a minute. And I think I could spend longer on every groove, but I think it starts to become where you will spend a lot of time for just a little bit of a return. And so I think it is definitely good enough. And I think those look clean. The fronts look amazing. I will quickly wipe down the other shoe. And I bet this didn't take two or three minutes to get these cleaned up. I love getting shoes when they do not take a lot of work. That's all those took for prep work and they look excellent. And they didn't take much work at all. Very worth the time and investment to sell them. Then moved on to clothes and some of the clothes did not need anything at all. There was one thing that was brand new with tags. I always look at things. Usually I wash everything from the bins, but sometimes things that come from Goodwill, Sometimes they just might need a little bit of steam. They don't need much at all. Some things, I, I just look at it as, would I feel comfortable wearing this and what do I need to do to it so it will look nice, clean, fresh. Every once in a while, I'll take something to get dry clean. It just depends on the item. 
This one was new with tags. And so, you know, it really didn't take much prep work. And it is Chelsea and Theodore, size large. And it is just this really soft eyelash cardigan. It has two front pockets, just unbelievably soft. And I saw some pretty good sole comps on it. So I listed it for $30. It costs $5.99. And listing it at $30, I'm expecting to probably give a 10 to 20% discount on that plus fee, so I'm figuring all of that in. Then I got another new with tags item, and it was the Harry Potter item, and my kids loved Harry Potter. We read a lot of Harry Potter when they were younger, and I expect after this shows, I'm going to get a text from Morgan that says, I want that. <laughs> so maybe this one won't sell, but brand new with tags, and it's navy blue, it is where are the inside tags? It is size large. And I found, I normally pick up Harry Potter because it usually sells like that. I've gotten just graphic t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, everything. I never hang on to them for very long. So normally if it's Harry Potter themed, I pick it up. I paid $5.99 for this hoodie. I listed it for $32 and I expect that it will sell either from somewhere from $32 to 10 to 20% off. Then this one is actually a really good one that I got. It is a sweatshirt, be bold, and it is Ray Dunn, size large, and I've never found anything Ray Dunn, and so I'm really excited about that, and it's so soft, lightweight, it's got a high-low hem, and so the comps were really good on this, and when I looked it up, there were quite a few listed, but quite a few sold, and for really good amounts, but there on Poshmark, there was only one in size large, so I think because there's only one in size large, I should do well on it. I listed it for $40 and I expect to get somewhere between 32 and 40 for it. So this one I was super excited about. And then this jacket just looked so nice. I hadn't heard of the brand before. It is Black Rivet. And one of the re other reasons why I wanted to purchase it, it was really nice, but a size 2X. A lot of times plus sizes do very well, but super nice, excellent condition. It seems practically new. And I paid $7.49 for this jacket, and I listed it for $55. Then I found a Lucky Brand cardigan, and here is the tag and this is so nice it has a bit of a waterfall front it has big pockets and it has an attached belt I found some comps on it and i think it will do pretty well i paid five dollars and 99 cents for it and i have it listed for 38 dollars then i got this jacket and eddie bauer can be kind of hit or miss for me sometimes it sells really well and sometimes it doesn't but this jacket it felt and looked brand new. It was a size extra large, which is an excellent size. It has a hood. It has this quilted middle area and it has the fourth zip. And those are all things that I really like. And I, I think with all of those things combined, I think it will sell well. I paid $7.49 for it and I have it listed for $38. And I feel like this is such a nice jacket. I feel like I should be able to list it for more, but comps don't always show that they will sell for a lot more than that. So I would rather price it at 38 and have a realistic opportunity for it to actually sell than thinking, oh, this is so nice. I should list it for 55 and have it sit for three years. So I think 38 with the potential of giving 10 to 20% offers will end up where it will sell this season. <laughs> Coming up, I'm preparing for fall. Now I'm starting to really look, I knew I had a limited amount of time. And so I did go to shorts for a minute and then I was like, what am I thinking? short season's almost over there were people in the shorts they were very picked over but people were not in the sweaters and jacket area and so I thought that's where I need to go I need to find stuff there and I just found one thing after another when I went over there I did find one pair of shorts and these are a golf brand Lady Hagen and these retail for quite a bit of money and usually I can list these 
for about $25 and they usually sell for around 20, but I was in such a hurry that I didn't realize that they do have some wash wear and so I only listed them for $12 due to that. But on the listing, I said, these are really nice shorts. They're bright and colorful. They do have some wash wear. So I am listing them for a great low price. And sometimes when you say that, I feel like it helps people really think, oh, this is a great deal. I want to buy this. And usually things sell well when I say that. They're a size 12, so a good size. And they were half off, so they were regularly $4.49. And so I only paid $2.25. So not a big investment on them. I shopped for 42 minutes and I found eight items. I spent 12 minutes prepping them. Then it took 21 minutes to research them and create drafts. So when I get them, usually I'll use Google Lens or look up style numbers or a description and I will see what the comps are. A lot of times I will do that in the store and if I find one, I'll quickly hit sell similar or um, create a draft depending on what platform I'm on and that way I already have that finished but I didn't do that with all of them. I photo and editing took me 33 minutes to do eight items and that's pretty much the norm for me. I don't know if I'm just super slow because I have I hear other people saying it takes them like one minute to photograph an item. I can't do it. I time myself over and over again and it takes me like about four minutes an item and the the editing is just a very tiny, tiny portion of that. I will insert a clip and I will show you when I am taking photographs. This time I just did it right there in my living room. I've got um, natural light coming in. I put the shoes right on my kitchen counter, cleaned them right there, photographed them right there. Then I put my manne mannequin right in the middle of the living room. I would take a picture on the mannequin, then just lay it on the floor with the tape measure, take the pictures, took all those. That took me like 31 minutes. Then I used the app photo room to remove the background. So it has a nice clean white background. And I will insert on the side here a clip of actually using Photo Room, how you just open the app, select the photos, and remove the background. It's super quick and easy. It just takes a couple minutes. So the total time for photoing and editing was 33 minutes. Then once I do that, it's time to actually list. And the listing does not take that long because I feel like more of the work is in the shopping, the prep, the drafts, and then I just have to upload the photos, change a few items on the listing, and that's it. It took me 28 minutes and 12 seconds to list all of the items, and then I figured about 24 minutes to ship. I figured three minutes per item to ship. So that is a total of two hours and 40 minutes. I listed the items for a total of $315. If I give 20% discounts on everything, that would take it down to $252. Now, I'm not going to give 20% discounts on everything, but that's just saying the most that I will discount them is probably 20%. Then, if I were to sell all eight items on Poshmark and give a discount where they only pay $4.99, that would mean that I'm giving a discount of $2.46 on each item, which means a potential of $19.68 in discounts. That would mean that I would get back $181.92. I paid $52 for all of the items, so cost of goods of $52. That leaves me a profit of $129.92. If it took me two hours and 40 minutes to do everything, shop all the way to ship, that is 2.66 hours, which means I am working at $48.84 an hour. I think that's great, it's wonderful, it's fun to go shopping, it's fun to list the things, and it's really fun to sell the things. And just today when those Tory Burch sandals sold, I was so excited. <laughs> we were riding in my husband's truck and I was like, yes, yay! <laughs> and I thought, what other job am I going to have when I get that excited day after day, every day about things selling? Then I had another item that sold for $60 that I got at the bins for $1.30 right after that. And I was just so excited. 
And I just thought, how lucky am I to have this job that is just every day, 17 years later, I'm still so excited every time I make a sale. It's just so neat to me that I can take things that people no longer want anymore and they donate them and then I can make a great profit on them. Just, I just think it's really neat. So that is everything that I have for you today. That was just a quick little Goodwill trip and what you can do in less than three hours of time reselling. So thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.